Yeah, so it's been super fun to kind of transition to be able to run with all of the Bowerman babes. Um, so I'm able to do all the track speed stuff with them. So in the fall, this is a very typical workout where we go and do hill repeats and that's all about form. And then we go onto the track and do some speedier stuff. So we normally know what we're gonna do roughly on Tuesdays and we show up uh, at it's called Dunaway Park and we do kind of a longer warm-up. Normally we do a shorter warm-up when we do a workout, but this one is a longer warm-up so people will run you know, anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour and then we'll start the workout. And we go over after we do the warm-up, we head over to the hill and Jerry's there to kind of give us the overview and he, he tells us the same thing almost every week which is this is all about form. It is um, you know, not a race, so he has each of us go individually, one at a time, focusing on our form, and he really says, you know, don't focus on other people. This is all about an individual person getting better and focusing on that form up the hill. So I don't even time those. We go over and we'll do 200s, uh, 400s, 600s, some sort of mix of those. Today we did um, three twos three fours, three twos, and I don't even time it. Um, we know where the start is, it's at this little, it's at the little sign, and then he has Jerry Marks cones every 200. And so we just sprint to the cones and then recover on the way down, and it's a very individual thing where we just uh, work on keeping our form intact and uh, working hard at uh, increasing that speed and that cardio. Then, after we do the hills, we jog back down to the track. We normally sh change into shoes. So like the hills, we normally do them in, sometimes we do them in flats, sometimes we do them in trainers, and then we get down to the track and we put on spikes. And today we did eight by 200, and it's just kind of like with short recovery, and it's just kind of turning those legs over um, and, and making it, uh, hopefully getting uh, more speed in our legs. Um, to not be running the marathon miles is really different. So um, it's almost like I, I feel, I just have a little more like spry in my step, I feel like. I'm able to start my runs a little bit quicker than normal. Um, I used to have to like, I was just so fatigued from the high mileage and, and now I'm able to, because I'm running less miles, um, I feel like I'm able to start my runs a little bit uh, with a little more pep in my step. Um, and then like on today, um, you know, normally if I was doing marathon miles, I'd, I'd have to double with a run, but I instead chose to, in the afternoon, flush out the legs with a bike, which has really allowed me to flush out the junk in my legs after a workout, but it doesn't put that additional stress on my tendons and bones. And so I feel like I'm able to recover faster and then have better workouts throughout the week. No, I mean, I feel like my mood's different uh, strictly because I, I don't have pain in my Achilles anymore. Um, and so I'm able to kind of just like walk around and, um, you know, I think anyone who's dealt with chronic pain knows how, how it can affect your mood. And, and so because that's removed, I feel like um, I've had a different mood. <laughs> So um, we had the workout, which started a little bit later. Um, I actually went straight to treatment after the workout, and then uh, Pat had packed me a lunch, so I ate lunch in the car on the way over to treatment, came home, had a quick nap, did my bike ride, and then in the evening, I just to kind of help keep my feet um, after a workout day, I like to just kind of, I, Pat makes two buckets, one with ice and one with heat, and I kind of alternate, so I go ice, heat, ice, heat. And I find that really helps recovery and any swelling or anything of my feet just getting beaten up with that high speed and wearing spikes and all that. I find that ice heat bath really helps the next day and the following weeks in recovery. It's incredible to have everyone support through this transition. Um, you know, it's goals having to be changed and move around obviously isn't like an awesome thing, but I know that um, in order to be successful, you have to have fluidity in your in your goals. And um, yeah, you know, my my timeline has changed, but it's been awesome to have all the support through this uh, next next exciting next like year, um, which I'm super excited about this Olympic cycle. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Just something different, doing hills. I remember in college we would actually do hill repeats, but we did something different in college where we'd actually work the downhills. So um, now we're working the uphills. Um, so it's just kind of different. I think hill work is always great. It works different muscle groups. If you guys have any great hill workouts that you do, I'd love to hear from what you guys do.